Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Taurus. And this is going to be for the week. It's just a weekly check-in. It's going to be from the 11th to the 17th of June. I will be using my Radiant Rider Weight Tarot deck. To clarify, I'll be using Learning Tarot cards. And then I will pull you a card from my Messages from the Guides Transformation card deck okay so taurus let's see what messages we have for you So Taurus, this is for you. The Nine of Pentacles. Ooh, you're starting to see the money come in. The Two of Cups, or is it the love you're starting to see come in? The Eight of Cups, what, why do you wanna walk away? Why are you disappointed? What happened? The Queen of Wands. Now this could be a fire energy within your environment. This could be a Leo a Sagittarius or an Aries. If not, you might just be feeling like maybe you found your courage, your confidence. But why would you walk away? The Emperor. This is an energy in your environment. This is some um, older person or someone older than you are, someone that you can turn to. They're like a fatherly figure. Um, advice, they help you out. It's not romantic. They could be an Aries, but you're going to have a decision you're going to have to make in regards to something. You will successfully make the decision. I got the world. Or you will successfully attain something. But then you're going to be stuck for a little while. What's going on? However, then the judgment card. This is like rebirth. You know, you started to reevaluate yourself. And you started deciding, you know, well, I'm about to change a few things. So this is like, feel rejuvenated. Like a renewal, a sense of renewal. Like a brand new you. Coming out from whatever it was that was holding you back or things to that effect, you know. Change some ways. But it's a good card, I see. So on top of the nine of pentacles here, we got the ten, the nine of cups and the death card. Now, don't get worried. The nine of cups, your wishes come true, okay? Now, the death card is releasing the old for the new. It's like end, the end of a cycle and the beginning of something new for you, okay? So it is a, it, it's not a bad card. It's just telling you that there's a change. There's a change coming. You're going to start releasing the old and stepping into the new you, okay? This could be a spiritual transformation as well. And new beginnings, letting go of the old and starting with the new, all right? But your wishes come true. So you got the Nine of Cups, the Death card above the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> Then you got two of cups here. That's like unified love. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Oh, okay. I see why the walk away. I got the tower here. There was some something happened. It was chaotic. It was confusion. It was sudden. Um, and you just decided to to surrender to the storm and let it be. Um, because of this, there was a there was there was and there will be delays in in news. So you need patience at this time. Okay. Plan. Be vigilant. Be protective and guarded. So this is the tower and this is on top of the love. So maybe there was something that happened with the love. Maybe something sudden. That's why there is a walk away. So this is the tower and the page of swords here. So this is sudden. It possibly already happened. Okay. And on top of the Eight of Cups, we got the Nine of Wands and the Two of Wands. <laughs> so the Nine of Wands says that you're very resilient. No matter how many times they knock you down, you keep getting back up. All right? So no matter what happens, no matter how many towers come true, you will be fine. You will pick yourself back up. You know how to balance yourself. That's what I'm going to say. And then there's the two of wands. Longing for something. You have a decision. You have two paths. I guess you can walk away or you can stick with it and see what happens. It's totally up to you. You might be thinking the green is green. The grass is greener on the other side. Just know what you're doing, okay? Only you can make that decision. Then the Queen of Wands, like I said, this could be what the decision is about. I'm not sure. So this could be a fire energy. This could be a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius within your environment. You got a decision. That could be where the decision is. You got to go within yourself and find out and make that decision. Um, you got the Two of Swords and you got the Four of Cups. You can't make a decision. This is a very difficult decision for you to make. So you need to go within. Or you might miss some opportunities. Don't wait too long to make the decision. And stop focusing on the negative. Start practicing to change that. When the negative thoughts come, try to turn them around with positive thoughts. Instead of poor me, start seeing all that you do have. Okay. Start practicing every time you're sad. Think of a happy moment. Start feeling happy. I think I saw a video once on um, TikTok. They said, if you feel sad, just start laughing. Ha, 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 ha. And suddenly you will be actually be laughing and that sad feeling will go away. And I've tried it and it worked. So maybe there's something to it. But anyway, you need to go within yourself and figure out the answer, okay? Don't take too long, though. And I think I showed you the two of swords and the four of cups. I'll show you one more time, just in case. <clears throat> On top of the queen of wands. Now, that could be you finding your courage to make that decision, okay? Then on top of the emperor comes the page of pentacles. You're going to be receiving good news. It might be in... in um, it might be in... It might be a job. There was a word I was looking for. I can't find it. It's there, but I can't think of the word. Um, there's going to be an opportunity for you to increase your um, income. I don't know if you're doing some manifestation, but remember to do it with your heart and peace and calm around you and manifest for the greater good and do it for the collective. All right. So you got the page of pentacles, whatever is going to be happening, whether it's a new job or a financial opportunity that's coming towards you. Maybe this emperor is going to be helping you with that. It's going to bring you some happiness. OK, I got the sun card. So that's the page of pentacles and the sun card. Then you got another decision to make here. The two of swords. Got another decision to make the two of swords. Let's see. 
Oh, on top of that, uh, Knight of um, Swords again. This decision you're going to make is going <clears> to... <throat> Why did I think I saw the Knight of Swords? Oh, I don't know why. Anyway, so you got the Knight of Swords here. I don't know why I thought I saw that. And you got the Ace of Swords. So there are going to be some changes coming. And it could be because of the towel moment, because of your decision that you have to make. But you will have mental clarity to make that decision. Big changes are coming in, all right? You're going to have some opportunities coming. This card says, seize the moment, jump in, arrival, departure, assertive, direct, honest. It warns against being impulsive or rash behavior. So don't act in haste. All right. And you will have clarity. You're going to have some new ideas. You got the Ace of Swords here. Just don't be hasty in your decision. Don't be hasty in your decision. Then you got the world card. Now, you did succeed in accomplishing something. <clears throat> and on top of the world card comes the temperance and the fool. So the temperance means patience, balance, you know, peace, moderation, you know, finding a balance. You can do things you need to do and, you know, the things you like to do. and But you just have to find a balance with everything. Don't overdo anything. Don't underdo something. You got a new beginning in store for you. You need to be patient, okay? You're going to successfully attain your goals. Just be patient. Things are a little stagnant right now, but you just need a little patience. You got the temperance card and you got the fool. That's a new beginning. Just be patient. And then you got the hanged man here. <clears throat> You got the Eight of Wands and the King of Wands here. Something is moving forward. You're being very decisive. If this is not an energy in your environment, if this is not a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius in your environment, okay? Maybe your stagnant feeling that you're feeling, you're about to come out of it. There's movement. I got the eight of, so eight of wands, okay? So something coming with speed. There's going to be forward movement and there's going to be progress. And you might have to be in charge of something. You're going to have to make some decisions. And you're going to have some unexpected income. So the eight, I would say so this is about money. The Eight of Swords, the Eight of Wands, I'm sorry. The Eight of Wands and the King of Wands. You're going to have a new beginning. Top of the Judgment card comes the Six of Pentacles. Gifts, generosity, balance, donations. Then you got the four of pentacles. And I will say that would mean financial stability because everything I see here is upward movement for you. That's what I feel. So I got the six of pentacles here. You will find your financial balance. You will find balance in your environment, in your life. Um, you might be giving and receiving, you know, which is not bad. And the four of pentacles, I would say would be stability. And let's do this card.
practice moderation. Here we go. Practice moderation. You have, cho you have chosen to incarnate to this physical dimension to enjoy and partake in experiences you could not have anywhere else. In all things, whether in the spirit realms or on earth, balance is the key to everything. Moderation simply means avoiding extremes in all things. You must learn to conserve energies and bring moderation in order to live a fuller life. Express yourself more clearly and cultivate the gifts of your spirit. If this card makes an appearance in your spread, you need to examine what aspects of your life seem to overshadow the rest. Too much work, too much food, too much stress are all common areas to keep a watchful eye on. You are a precious being and you need to understand that it is your responsibility to bring yourself to a state of balance and moderation or suffer the consequences. In life, there should always be a sense of cooperation with others. You're experiencing a time in our civilization that is saturated with stimulation and technology. It is therefore imperative to stop and be mindful of the moments that are, you be mindful of the moments that you are living. Simplicity in all things mixed together with a sense of balance in everything you partake in makes for a happier and longer life. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and I will chat with you soon. Bye.